everybody. How are you? Nice for you to join me, my royals. It is your girl, the lovely Paris of A Touch of Paris, beauty, love, and inspiration. And I am excited, super uber, uber excited to have my guest on my show today, relationship expert, healing and recovery. We have her who is the author of Vitamin C in Hand in Hand Counseling. She's a licensed therapist and author. Without further ado, it is a pleasure to introduce to you Sharice Nance. Sharice, welcome to join the You are welcome. You are so welcome. Thank you so much for being here. It is such a blessing. I tell you. You are so welcome. And what's even more of a blessing is because this right here is right up my alley, you all. Those of my royal followers, I like to call my followers my royals in case you didn't know. Um, I like to be able to help awaken the divinity in the people to help us to rise to royalty, you know? Yeah, yeah. We, we, we down here enough. We got the world putting us down here, so mm -hmm. we need to help people to rise. Absolutely, so, yeah. My royals know that this and having you is even more dear and indebted to my heart because in addition to a lot of the other things that I have going on, I am a life coach as well. And so I know that I would like to dig my teeth and sink my teeth in and my feet a little bit deeper into that whole arena as I continue to develop my brand and you know all that kind of stuff. So. I am honored to be able to not only purchase the books, but to see what I can get out of it for myself. And first and foremost, let me ask you this. Um, what what type of uh, licensed therapist are you? You just like, you do family counseling, marriage counseling, and things like that. Would you like to elaborate? Yes, I'm, a, I'm actually a licensed clinical social worker. So okay. I, I do family counseling, I do individual. We get a lot of people who are struggling with depression, anxiety, trauma those are the most common ones and then you get your work-life balance which is why i wrote the second book but we'll get into that but those are the common things that we see in a lot of couples we get a lot of couples too okay okay absolutely yes i'm gonna advocate for keeping black love alive y'all y'all already know that okay <laughs> we need to definitely do whatever we gotta do see the therapist all of that stuff i cannot stress enough how important it is for um mental health awareness in a black and african-american community because we suffer in silence and it's yes, killing we us do. yes we do. it's killing us and, and i i'm a mental health survivor so shout out to everybody who's dealing with mental health issues on the strong survive baby and we gonna keep on winning yeah speaking of that Sharif, vitamin c the healing workbook for the mind body and soul now this is a work so this is going to require people as they're reading it to be able to uh, follow different exercises that are able to help them to heal. Mm -hmm. Okay, um, can I ask you, what was the motivation in writing this book? Well, I, like your first sketch, Janelle talked about, mm -hmm. I love to write. Writing is therapeutic for me. That's why people say, how could you write a book? How much time does that take? I love to write. Okay. So I knew I wanted to write a book that pretty much captured the whole person healing mentally, physically, spiritually, psychologically, but didn't know what I could call it to really capture it. And you want your title to be catchy so it could fall off the bookshelf. And somebody's like, oh, why should I buy this? This looks mm -hmm. interesting. Mm -hmm. So vitamin C, my husband actually came up with that title because it's healing for the whole person. You know, you're not feeling well. Yes, so vitamin C fixes everything. And that's my hope when people read the book and okay. they actually do the work after reading each chapter. Self-care is an emphasis in that book. I'm a huge advocate for self-care. Self so am I. Oh my goodness. I just love that. That excites me um, a whole lot to know that we share in the same, you know, vision. And that's to heal the world, to help people, to mend the broken pieces. And that is just a lot of broken people. Because vitamin C is, like you said, it's the cure-all for everything. And like most African-American families, black folk, we think that and ginger ale is going to fix everything. Yeah, we do. <laughs> ginger ale will do it, I tell you. So what are some of the common um, responses or questions that you've gotten from people who have read vitamin C? Have you had any engagement, you know, where you've gotten questions? Because I, I told you off top, like, our, my healing workshop that I'm working on, I have to pull in. Yeah, I would definitely like to be a part of that. Well, you know, people have read it because it's been out for a little over two years now. 
So basically, you know, people were saying that it's, it's helped them through some trying times. There was a one of my mom's co-workers brought the book. She was going through chemotherapy. She mm-hmm. had cancer. She said it saved her life. I'm like, wow, that's what it's all oh about. My God, you know, if I could reach one person and save somebody's life, that's priceless. You know, that's why I do this work. That's why I actually got into this field. So, but self-care, you know, women, especially women, we try to do everything. We can do anything in the world we want, but we can't do everything yeah. on our own. Yeah. So that was the huge inspiration behind the book. And actually, Ola Jackson's event next Saturday is, we're going to be touching on Absolutely. self-care. Oh my gosh, speaking of Ola Jackson's event, um, is it, it's the Onyx, um, yes. the Onyx Conference. Onyx like that. It's at my age conference. So basically, it's talking about how you can thrive at every age. You can thrive in your twenties, your thirties, your forties, your fifties, yes. your fifties. You know, <laughs> they say life begins at forty. So yes, I'll be Absolutely. talking about at my age at thirty in your thirties and self care. That's when I had my epiphany. You know, like when I got to my mid thirties, it okay. just kind of clicked, clicked for me. Yeah, absolutely. So. And align with uh, vitamin C and self care and everything. What would you say uh, to young girls who are looking, like you said, we, we hit those milestones at different points and times in our lives and our journey? You know, it clicks 40, sometimes it clicks early on. And as I talked to uh, Janelle on my last segment of my show, um, how important it is to instill the hustle and self-care and awareness and things like that of self at such a young age the earlier the better you know if i had a 13 year old or 15 year old would this book be appropriate for them as well absolutely absolutely i I had a couple of mother and daughters who i saw one previously and one mother and daughter who still come to see me they read it together and they, okay. they do the work together because, you know, a lot of people come in the office like, my daughter has low self-esteem, you know, I need your help in building her self-esteem. And that's great. And I'm, I don't want to say I'm only the right, therapist, right. but this is your, your daughter. So we got to think about, like, what are you putting out into the universe? Let's start with you. And this yes, is not about because it starts claiming, but you know, right. let's, let's start with you. Like, you might be telling her, oh, you're beautiful. You're, you're going to be everything you want to mm-hmm, be in the world. Mm-hmm, but mm-hmm. if you're not practicing that and she's not seeing you actually put those things in action then she's not going to believe you absolutely so that's you know we we really um i advocate for you know making sure that you actually walk the walk okay because like i said children don't do as we say but they do as we do and listen guys okay my reals children don't do as we say but they do as we do so we definitely have to be first partakers and exemplify you know Mm -hmm. what that means and that is that is totally awesome and most important so for somebody who may be troubled in going through um, a critical experience or needing to excuse me find that outlet and take advantage of uh therapy where can they find you at in particular? How can they get a hold of you? We're at Hand in Hand Counseling Services. Our website for Hand in Hand is www.hihcounseling. That's C-O-U-N-S-E-L-I-N-G dot com. Okay. And we're located on Duff Road in Penance. Okay. And um, walking the tightrope. Yes. Okay. So these both of these books you can get them at the same place, correct? You can get them, the books can be purchased at www.vitaminchealing.com. Mm-hmm. That's one word, and on Amazon.com. Okay, wonderful. So you guys have no excuses. You already know where to find these mm-hmm. books at. Mm-hmm. But this title in particular here, it just really just like it reached down into my soul and just grabbed a little bit of part part of me. Because in my quiet time spent, you know, with uh, God in meditation, I have been given something about, you know, uh, walking the tightrope of life. And I tell people, even as a life coach and an inspirational person, I tell people that um, we have to, balance is so essential. It is the hardest thing to obtain in life. Like, you know, walk in that tightrope and that balancing act. So I can only imagine that this is what this is more so indicative to uh, that balancing act. And so many of us, we are either extreme left or we are extreme right. Mm-hmm. 
And I know for me, that is something that I seek to develop a lot more uh, strength and discipline in. With not, you know, going overboard this way and not going overboard that way. But for those who uh, haven't read this, uh, Sharice, can you talk a little bit about walking the tight well, initially, walking the tightrope of life and fuel renew, recenter your work life demands. It was inspired by the work that I do, helping professionals, because I work with some of the most skilled and compassionate people in this field. But we just keep going and we burn ourselves out. We yes. give so much to everybody else, to our clients, to kids, to our spouses, but we never take care of ourselves. We feel guilty when we take a day off of work. Taking Absolutely. one day off of work, we feel guilty. You know, we don't advocate for ourselves, but we advocate for the rights of others. So it's about let's take it back, you know, back to vitamin C, and let's talk about how we can actually take care of ourselves and, you know, balance, work-life balance. That's a big one. And you can't have balance without satisfaction because even if you're spending half your time at work and half your time at home, if you don't have satisfaction in those areas, what good is balance? You know, so, oh let's, so let's look at, you know, all these areas in your You're life. So right. And then let's look at, you know, chapter one is my plate is full. Why are you overbooking your schedule? Like, what is that about that you feel like you have to cram all of these things in? Are you trying to escape something? You know, what is that about? So it's just delving into a lot of those issues. Oh, my God. That is so necessary. It's so awesome that you wrote that. And it's so necessary for especially a lot of inspiring women who are because everything is trending boss. Yeah. We're bosses. We're boss queens. We're, you know, we're, we're bosses and we're bossing up. And I mean, don't get me wrong. I love it. I love to see us female, you know, empowering one another. But like you said, when you're booking yourself to capacity. You can't do everything. Right. And I've actually been listening to an audio in my car. I highly recommend it. It's called The Entrepreneur Roller Coaster by Darren, Darren Hardy. I'm a huge fan of his. Okay. And he talks about that with entrepreneurs. Like, we try to do it all. Like, we get so caught up in all those little tasks. Mm. We don't need to do all those little tasks. You need mm. to outsource. Get an mm. assistant or put those to the side. You have to be focused on the priorities like what are what's going to keep your business going what are those three income producing activities that you could do each day that's going to move your business forward in the next 90 days and i had to reevaluate that because i'll try to do it all mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. you can't do it all can't do it all ladies we might think we're super yeah. women yeah but at the end of the day no it's, that self-care concept like you said is so in Poor tent. After we get done doing all of this, working, running businesses, taking care of the husband and the kids, and da 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 da, da you know, we're left to. I tell people, a lot of my clients, like, guess what? If you're not giving out of the overflow, you're stealing. Yeah. You're stealing. So when you have people coming and taking that which is not in access, you know, which runneth over for some, for you to have something to give to someone then you don't really have nothing to give. You so don't, you don't. It's, you, know, you gotta look at it as a bank account. I call it the spiritual bank account. There can only be so many withdrawals. You'll be overdrawn. And you know, there has to be some deposits going into that account. I love you, sister. That is so important. I'm getting my life. I don't know about y'all, but I'm getting my I'm life. I'm still getting mad. <laughs> I'm still working on some things too. Absolutely. I love it. What, what can, before I let you go, I need to know, do you have any tips personally as it relates to self-care? How a woman, or even a man, I have you know men follow me as well. How do you have any uh, type of self-care tips or somewhere where they can start trying to deprogram and right. reprogram themselves with some of the information that you provide? Right. Well, like I said before, don't try to do it all, you know. I'm not a fan of long to do lists because I think they overwhelm people. Oh my God. And you don't, you might put 25 items on that list and then you get 15 done and you don't feel productive. But if you get 15 things done in a day, you, I don't know if you're being busy or if you're actually being productive. So let's scale it back. Like, what's, what's the number one, well, one to three things that you absolutely have to get done today? Let's start there. 
Don't oh those God. those to do lists. I'm I'm just not a fan. They overwhelm people. They cause I'm anxiety. I'm so glad. I'm so listen from an anxiety from a recovering person who deals with anxiety mm -hmm. um, and depression. I guess that's something that I had as a past history. Um, it's a struggle sometimes daily. I don't. I never yeah. know when I'll find myself in those. Seasonal depression, all of that type of stuff like that is real. And it's just not yes, women who go through it. It's a lot of yeah. men and no other people. Right, no mm -hmm. one's exempt. And to hear you say that, it just brings so much confirmation and comfort to my soul to know that, you know, maybe I haven't been as gentle or as kind as I maybe should have been mm -hmm. to myself because right. we hold ourselves to these standards. Yes. And like I tell my clients all the time, like comparison is the greatest thief of joy. Like you can, you start looking at somebody else's place and about, oh yeah. my God, she's doing this. And she, so what's wrong with me that I can't? And I got to keep up with. So thank you for that. I thank you for that. I don't know about y'all, but I thank you especially for uh, that tidbit in one last question, I do believe. What are some of the sources uh, that you go to in order to replenish and to refill for yourself? Um, like, you know, do you have any particular mentors, people that you follow? I do. I have. I have a few mentors, but I have a therapist. You know, like I talk about that in the book. Yes. He helps to help her. Yeah, I'm not exempt. I absorb a lot of energy all day, all every day. day, and I need to get it out to someone who doesn't know me, who doesn't know my family. And yes. to be objective and give me a fresh perspective. So, like, I have to make time to see my therapist, and it, it has really been helping me in prayer. Oh my you God. know, those are the two oh things. God. And um, I also want to say, I know it's late notice, but tomorrow I'm actually having a self care workshop at the Carnegie Library in East Liberty. Oh my gosh, I was just I was just there yesterday mm -hmm. for another event that I have. That is awesome. So definitely, my words, if you guys were able to make it out, I'm not sure when we were actually, you know, hear everything, but I hope that somebody is able to take advantage of uh, that workshop. Do, is there anywhere that, any future workshops, do you have like a Facebook or any other contact information of ways that people who are in need of the services that you offer can follow you and they can say, okay, well, I can make that one, but right. I can make the next one. Right. Well, I'm on Facebook, Sharice Nance, N-A-N-C-E. Mm -hmm. Follow me. I'm always posting stuff on my private page and on my fan page. It's Vitamin C Healing on Facebook and also on the website, www.vitaminchealing.com. We always keep all those things updated. Okay. Absolutely wonderful. And so you do understand the importance of mentorship. Is that Absolutely. Okay. Like, I, I think if you're the smartest person in the room, you need to find another room. <laughs> yes. Yeah, I, I live by that. I, yes. I, I, I live by that quote, and I'm always looking to be around other people, other women to grow, to get better. I like to pick people's brain. I just like to learn. And I'm, I'm coachable. I'm completely open for constructive feedback because I don't have all the answers. I'm still in search of things, too. Amen, sister. Let me tell you something. It has been a pleasure to have you on my show today. And I definitely wish you much continued success with all your endeavors. Thank you. And um, I'm looking forward to partnering up with me you too. with I the workshop too. thing, yes. all of that. Like I'm just super excited. And I'm I plan on attending, you know, some of your workshops and things that that you may have and getting myself and my life, honey, and these books <laughs> right here. So I'm gonna tell y'all, if you haven't gotten it, Please pick up vitamin C and walking the tightrope of life. And before we go, I have to share my beauty tip of the day, okay? I always have to give a little beauty tip. Well, this is an affordable highlighter, right? This is by Wet n Wow, and this is like one of my latest favorites. I, I change up a whole lot all the time. But just to give everybody's kind of like into the whole glow, the whole glistening yeah. thing. So so those who need an affordable highlighter, I think Wet n Wild has a great one. And this can be used, any of these transitional colors can be used underneath the brow bone, right underneath where the arch in your eyebrows go, is where we actually apply a little bit of this at. You can just take your finger or you can use one of your makeup brushes or utensils and you can just go ahead and just pop a little splash of this highlight along the side of your cheekbone, sometimes the bridge of your nose, and even underneath the brow bone gives a nice accent and adds a nice dewy glow to uh, the face, ladies. So there you have it. A touch of Paris of a beauty of a touch of Paris beauty love inspiration. Sharice Payne, thank you so thank much you. for coming on and being a part of this experience. Thank you. Thank you guys.